Okay, so you're really excited about Rogue One, but when you watch the trailer, you only recognize Darth Vader and this lady, whose weird name you can't remember. It's Mon Mothma. Here's the rundown on all the characters you don't know yet. Caution, the spoilers are strong with this one. Jin Erso was born in captivity while her parents were prisoners of the Separatist army. They are freed for a bit, but then captured again when she's 15 years old. As a result, she becomes a criminal badass. Like other Star Wars protagonists, Jin's daddy issues get her recruited by the Rebel Alliance. I rebel. Galen Erso is Jin's father, and also kind of the Elon Musk of the Star Wars universe. But instead of electric cars, his scientific specialty is kyber crystals. Kyber crystals can be used to magnify energy and are basically the engine in lightsabers. The Empire captures Galen because they want to use his expertise to make something a little bigger than a lightsaber. They understand. I understand. Orson Krennic is the director of advanced weapons research tasked with creating the Death Star's super laser, and he needs help if he's going to get promoted to a rank that people don't question a second adult man wearing a cape on the same space station. Orson and Galen went to school together, and Orson uses that connection to manipulate Galen into taking a position researching Kyber Crystal as a renewable energy source. What is it renewing? Unbeknownst to Galen, it's actually powering a giant planet-killing laser. Saw Gerrera is the rebel pilot that flies the Urso family to safety from Krennic all those years ago, and Jin still sees him as a friend. Saw is the leader of a resistance group on Jedha known as the Partisans, who become one of the first cells to join the Rebel Alliance. During the Clone Wars, he was subjected to torture, which may explain his poor footing? The world is coming undone. Okay, I don't think the joke was that bad. Joining Jin on her mission is Captain Cassian Andor. He's an intelligence officer in the Alliance to Restore the Republic. Cassian is more on the practical side to Jin's radical. He recruits for the Rebels and apparently deletes the memory of Imperial droids in his free time, which I consider to be a handy hobby. Good. Take C-3PO's lack of a social filter and love of statistics and mix in Chewbacca's ability to rip people's arms off, and you got K-2SO. Originally created to fight in the Galactic Empire's armed forces, this Imperial Enforcer droid provides protection and some comic relief? I will not kill you. Shirut Imwe is a blind, staff-wielding warrior monk. He was born on Jedha, the home of the Jedi religion, and although he isn't Force-sensitive himself, he is fiercely devoted to its principles. As we've seen, fighting blind is hard even for people with a high midichlorian count. But I would say this guy's only disability is that he's a bit too brave. All is as the Force wills it. Baze Malbus is Chirrut's BFF with a BFG. Like his bestie, he grew up on Jedha, but Baze isn't the spiritual type. He's a freelance assassin with a trademark heavy repeater cannon, and he's pretty good with other weapons too. He's a dude who kills people for a living, and something the Empire did has gotten him pretty pissed off. I wonder what that could be. We destroyed our home. Bodhi Rook is the pilot of Rogue One, and he has a lot in common with many of his teammates. Like Baze and Sharut, he's from Jedha. Like Jin, he's a little hot-headed. And like K2SO, he used to work for the Empire. He was an Imperial cargo pilot, which isn't quite glamorous. It's kind of like a truck driver. But he's got his radio communication game down. Rogue. Some other character honorable mentions are Rebel Admiral Rattus, Generals Draven and General Merrick, Partisan soldiers Edrio and Benthic Tutubes, Gigorian mercenary Moroff, Rebel soldier Pow, and U-wing door gunner Biston the freaking space monkey. This movie is going to be amazing. For more on your favorite comic books, TV shows, and movies, check out GameSpot Universe.